right, um, well, this is Jeremy Medeiros uh, speaking from Nonsuch Ireland again. Um, it's been a while since we've carried one of these weight checks out. Um, uh, we're going to be looking at the Cahal Cam chick today who is uh, just past the two-thirds fledged stage. So just over two months old, got about another month to go. And so we're going to start to see some really um, noticeable changes over the next couple of weeks as the down starts to come off and the real feathers are coming in underneath. So we will go first to the nest and remove the lid. Yes, and our chick is pretty well filling up the nest now. He's not the tiny little fluff ball that he used to be. He's quite a big fellow. And he was just visited by the male bird last night so he's had a feeding visit, and I think he was visited by the female bird two nights before. Uh, so he feels pretty good. Feels like he is maintaining a really good weight. So we'll take him over here so we can weigh and measure his growth. Yeah, yeah this bird, let's see. His face is, he had just starting to develop the first little white um, beginnings of his facial feathers, his, his adult feathers, and the wings, the primaries, the secondaries, and the covered feathers over the top that give it its aerodynamic shape are really starting to come in and develop now. It's still got a long way to go, um, but this chick is well on its way in its metamorphosis from giant fluff ball um, to a sleek aerodynamic um, seabird. So we're going to put him into our familiar cloth weighing bag, which enables the bird to breathe easily, and, but it helps to confine it and calm it down. Okay. So we're very interested. To see, yep. and he's yeah, he's maintaining just over 300 grams. He had actually gone down because he wasn't visited for nearly a week uh, because of very calm conditions. He had gone down to only 233 grams at, at one point. He is back up now to 300 and 306 grams right now. So the maximum has been is 321 grams. So. Not quite as big as last year's chick, which reached, uh, peaked out about uh, 435 grams, but he still, or she still has the, you know, potential for doing that. So 306 grams, chick weight. It's actually a very quiet bird. Most of the other chicks I've been weighing on none such have been getting very um, aggressive and biting me, and I had my the first one draw blood from me um, just a little while ago. So they're now getting big and strong enough to, to actually start hurting when they bite you. Um, I measured a wing cord. The last one, it was 106 millimeters and he has grown amazingly since then. And it's to the tip of the longest primary feather. So it is now 138 millimeters. 138 millimeters. So yeah, this bird is growing very fast. He's getting to the point now where his wings are growing at the rate of about a centimeter every two days. So his about his wings are about half the length. It's 138 now. He will have to be out to 270 millimeters or slightly more before he's ready to fly to sea. So his his just about almost you know half. His wings are about half grown right now. It will get much longer. So I'm just gonna take a quick look at him underneath. Um, see, he's still mostly downy. His, his feet are basically fully formed now. And you can see the webbed feet here. You can see the three uh, quite prominent, strong claws they used to dig out burrows with and also to climb trees. And you can see the little vestigial, the fourth toe there, that in perching birds, that's what closes around to so they can grip onto a branch but seabirds don't need this so it's all it's reduced to a tiny little spur now and these long wings as well 
see all come there in a very strange state of development now because they're all emerging from these uh, straw-like um, scales basically the sheaths feather sheaths and they emerge like out of the end of it just like out of the end of a straw okay so we don't want to keep them out too long it's fairly warm today here on Nunsuch Island temperatures are almost climbing into the 80s now so um, we are going to um, put our cahal cam chick back in the nest and I'm just happy to see it's doing well maintaining weight and um, it seems to be well on its way to fledging out to sea in about a month's time probably in early June I would say the first week of June is probably our target date okay so and to remove him back in sorry there we go he, I'm happy to have I caught him in the nest because he has definitely been exploring the entrance tunnel quite a bit. Um, quite much more than usual. And I think that's probably where he's gone right now. But he will come back into the nest chamber. And all chicks do this, but usually not until about the last week or two before they fly out to sea. So the fact this one's been doing it for almost a month now means it's a particularly adventurous bird. Um, we have seen other ones. There's been times when they fooled me. I've looked in, no chick, and I thought, oh no, something's happened to the chick. You know, it's been carried off by a rat or something. And then I'll check a few days later and there it is back in the nest. So what we've come to realize is that they're just these adventurous chicks that hide out in, in the entrance tunnel, uh, some of which are very long and you just may not be able to, to see them or detect them there. But he looks fine. Everything looks good. And uh, we'll be checking them again in probably a week's time or so. Jeremy Medeiros uh, signing out from Nunsuch Island and JP behind the camera there smiling away. All right. Take care everyone. Have a good afternoon.